Glad you could all make it. You told us we had to. Dwight, do you have the box? Actually, I have it. You made this? Wow. That's, that's very nice. When I was five, my mom told me that my fish went to the hospital in the toilet. And it never came back, so we had a funeral for it. And I remember thinking, I'm a little too old for this. And I was five. I'd also like to say a few words, if that's OK. Yes. What do we know about this bird? You might think not much, it's just a bird. But we do know some things. We know it was a local bird. Maybe it's that same bird that surprised Oscar that one morning with a special present from above. Oh, I remember that. That was so funny. <laughs> and we know how he died, flying into the glass doors. But you know what? I don't think he was being stupid. I think he just really, really wanted to come inside our building to spread his cheer and lift our spirits with a song. It's not a song, Bert. Shh. An impression, then. Lastly, we can't help but notice that he was by himself when he died. But of course, we all know that doesn't mean he was alone. Because I'm sure that there were lots of other birds out there who cared for him very much. He will not be forgotten. Amen. Just smile for me and let the day begin. You are the sunshine that lights my heart within. Society teaches us that having feelings and crying is bad and wrong. Well, that's a baloney because grief isn't wrong. There is such a thing as good grief. Let's ask Charlie Brown. Let's get back to work. Guys, get a broom. Let's clean this up. Grab a broom. You heard me. Mush. <laughs> 